Welcome back everyone, this is going to be the Sigma fight, and to be honest with you, um, I have not fought this guy in like a long time, I don't even remember how long. Um, yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, how these caterpillars become your friend, just because they give you a lot of drops here before the boss fight, that's nice too. I was watching that, um, the race, the Mega Man X race, um, NCS, uh, Proton John. Chaos, Sinful Rose, um, and Killshanks. I was watching that because um, they were doing like a Mega Buster and two Heart Tank only run and one Sub Tank. A race for that, anyways. And like, I was just watching the Sigma fight. I think it was, you know, getting a good idea of the patterns of the final form because I hate doing the final form. Anyways, I could destroy you, but I would not rob you, my pet, of that pleasure. So he's got a dog. Sigma's got a dog. He looks like Treble. Sigma looks so creepy there too. Like I don't know, his sprite's just creepy. Man, my, th my throat's all dry and strained from talking too much. Like I've been talking since like 11 in the morning. Anyway, so here's a Treble looking dog. I don't think it is Treble, but yeah, it looks like it. Because Treble's uh, base is dog. So yeah, his weakness is the shotgun ice. And I'm getting lucky with like his patterns here. Shit. Yeah, but this is arguably one of the worst parts of the fight. Just cause he's he can be kind of unpredictable. Oh thank god, I didn't lose too much health there. Oh man, I wish I could hear the music though, because I, mean, I can turn my TV up and it might interfere with the recording, you might hear like the background of the TV recording. Excellent job, X. I see why zero counted on you. You were almost as good as a hunter as I was. Yeah, shut up. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having defied me. Like you were my boss in the first place. I, I don't bow to you, bitch. Not you, Luke. So, um, this form is very easy. Um, it just takes a lot of time. Shit. That's not supposed to happen. Um, yeah, so what you want to do is not what I'm doing, so don't do what I'm doing. I'm really, like, flubbing this up. Yeah, so you just want to keep jumping. Dude, really? I'm gonna... Yeah, so you want to keep jumping up in the top corner while he jumps across the walls like that. And fuck. But yeah, that second form is really easy. I don't know why I just died there, but it's fine because I didn't want to use a sub tank there anyways. I really want to save them all for the last form. But I'll basically try to explain better what you do there. Um, I'm going to skip this again because he just said this to us. He has amnesia or something. He just wants to say it again. And he put his cape back on too. Yeah. You got a good easy hit in there. You want to like run towards him at the beginning of the fight just because he's gonna jump over that way anyways and it's really nice that the shotgun is his weakness because you can bounce it off the walls when you're not looking at him and you're trying to get away so you can defend while offending so to speak but yeah down to one shotgun ice left and it's is it shock yeah shock actually the shock is the best for fighting this form of Sigma. Because even if you're like... Even if your uh, Mega Buster is full, you're going to want to... Um, it's not going to do any more damage than it would as a single shot. So, so this is how you do it. You just jump across the walls and dodge him. Which is not what I was doing earlier. I was just taking every hit. So yeah. All there is to it. But yeah, the music is so badass in this one, I wish I could hear it right now. I can hear it in my head, but. So some people like try and go to the very top and wait for him to jump across three times before jumping down, but I'd usually just go for the one just because I find it's easier to dodge that way. Like I'm, like I get, like I'm doing there, like he'll let him go up once, twice, then back down, and he's gone. And you know, for some reason he loses his eyeballs and his mouth doesn't have a tongue or teeth or anything. <sighs> but then his head remains and he does get his mouth and eyes back and he's smiling like a bitch. But yeah, and here's where I'm probably gonna cry. 
So, oh, how do we do this? So we're up to five minutes. Um, this video is gonna have to be um, two parts, anyways, just because I remembered the the credits are gonna take a while. So I'm not gonna be able to fit that in. Um, and this is going okay because he's not using his his like electric spark shock thing, which is really bad. He's gonna use it right now, I bet. And we have full sub tank, so we're doing okay. Yeah, so you see the key is not that. Um, get on top of the hand, hit him with the rolling shield. That's your best bet. If you run out of the rolling shield, um, you die, then you're gonna have to go and restart from the, the bottom of the stage and fight those caterpillars to grind for some more weapon energy. So that can be kind of annoying. And I can't believe I just dodged that. Um, you can climb up the wall while those hands are spinning, but you could hit the spikes and that's kind of dangerous, so I want to be careful about that. I'll just wait for them to come down. It's just easier to me, I think. More consistent. Less risk of taking a hit there. Yeah, honestly, this is not going as bad as I remember it to be. Like like I said, I haven't done this in a long time. So back when I was doing it, sub tank time. Um, back when I was doing it, it was like, I was panicking to do everything, and I remember I could, like when I was young, and I couldn't even figure out what his weakness was. I didn't even think you could hit him. I was like so pissed off when I was younger doing this. And I played this game a lot too, and I'd always get pissed off because I would play it a lot. So I'd always get up to Sigma, and just like totally screw it up. I didn't even dash there, and I still dodge that thing. But we got him down to halfway, and you know there are harder bosses in Mega Man games, so you know I'm playing it safe. I have two. It's fine. And I just wish he'd bring his hands down. But it's not going to happen, apparently, so... Get two shots on him there, take the hit. There we go. Yeah, be careful, though, when you're standing on that hand platform, because almost as soon as he brings it back up, he's going to shock you with it, so... Or he'll just bring it back down on your head like that. So two more hits and he's, he's a goner. Two more hits and the goers are goners. One more. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually did that. That was a lot easier than, you know, it was just from watching that race, though, and seeing, because they were doing it with the Mega Buster. Um, but yeah. No! It's not possible! I'm a rep lord! I can't be destroyed by you! Well, you just did. Why, X? Why have you done this to us? <laughs> Without the humans, my rep lord brothers could have ushered in a new age. Ellipses. Well, that's it. That's all. That's all she wrote for Mega Man X. So, there we go. We got the Castlevania uh, winning screen there. Just replaced Sigma's castle and X with Simon and Castlevania. Or Dracula's castle, I guess. So, here we go. Uh, I can't really remember the music here, but I'm sure it's really badass and it which sounds weird because I'm talking over it and you guys can hear it. Anyways, the war has ended for now and peace has been restored, but those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Nope. Can't bargain with these guys. Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again. You bet he will. Before he finds his answer. You'll be fighting him another, what, eight times? More Mavericks? I don't know. Probably more than that. More games than that, I mean. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on the hand knows for sure. Oh, I do remember this music, it's awesome. All Mega Man music is awesome, really. So yeah. Um, I think the credits will probably be around a good, you know, this shouldn't take too long. So I'm probably going to just cut it off here and then 
Oh, I'm gonna keep recording, but I'm just gonna, you know. You know what I mean. So this will probably be the second part of the video now. And here we got um, this show, the list of the, all the bad guys. I wish it showed it like, like in Mario games when you eat Mario games, and it shows all the sprites and them walking around and stuff, and the names of them. But this shows all the enemies in each stage: factory stage, scrap robo, dig labor, rolling, gabule, and hog hammer. Gallery stage. What's that? Oh, that's what's his armor number though. Ladder yatter, those scorpions on the wall on the ladders. Mad pecker, yeah, that's, that's a appropriate name. Boss fighter, Velgarder, that's what's Velgarder? Oh, that's the dog, isn't it? Oh, chill penguin. So now we show the Mavericks here. Launch octopus, with his head. Storm eagle. Armored Armadillo Flame Mammoth His big ears Sting Chameleon One of my personal favorites Spark Mandrill Face Slap Guy And Mr. Kowanger Did it not show Armored Armadillo? I swear I didn't see him. I wasn't looking. There's Vile. Or Sigma. Zero. Maybe never forget. He'll be back now. So now we're charging up. Freeze frame. And over at the beginning of the first stage where he is now. And you is Mega Man X. Yeah, of course. Sorry, I started talking before that. Um. If you go to the left, I think there is a one up there. So that's cool. Yeah, we'll start the video here. Got some more credits going. I guess it didn't really show credits before, it just showed like enemies and robot masters and whatnot. Yeah, I know I said I was gonna start the the video later, but I think it was a good transition to have it on the credit screen as the last video. Um, sound designer elf. Yeah, I don't think they use like proper names, like actual people's names for a lot of games a long time ago. See, like P Professor F. Um, I think that was to avoid, um, you know, other companies and other things stealing those names. Like, I'm like I'm fairly certain. Like that's what Nintendo did, anyways. At least like. It's kind of weird, but I don't see why anyone would do that. But just to say, oh, well, this guy played for us, we were, so we should get more money and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for playing. Um, yeah. This is not the end, I should, should mention. Screen went dark there, sorry. Um, yeah, we're going to sit on this screen for a while because some of you may or may not know um, it's not the last of this the things here um, anyways yeah so for anyone who did watch oh here we go you have one temporary victory X what you destroyed was only a temporary body my spirit remains intact <laughs> Ganondorf in time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. We get one last look at his mug. Like I said, anyone who watched this, um, especially all the way through to the end, thanks a lot. Like That's awesome. Um, one game I really wanted to do, um, probably my favorite game in the world. Uh, Final Fantasy IX. That is a much bigger project, um, but it's another. But I just want to do games that I really love, like things that I grew up playing and all that. And Final Fantasy IX's. I mean, Final Fantasy is my favorite series, but I'm pro Final Fantasy IX's got to be at least my favorite game. I'm, it's up there, at least you know, with four, six, and ten. Uh, but who knows what will happen? Who knows? Maybe I'll do all of them. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And have yourself a wonderful day.
Bye now.